as it's winter and it's cold outside, I can't think of a better comfort food than the butternut squash. I mean, this is my favorite vegetable, or well, I know it's actually it's a fruit in winter um, because you can make both savory and sweet dishes out of it and it's so easy, it's really healthy as well it's high in minerals like magnesium and potassium and also in vitamins like vitamin A, C and E but if I had to choose the top 3 um, dishes that I make with banana squash here is my list Number three. Okay, I don't think it's a surprise. Like it's winter, I love soups. So <laughs> the number three is the banana squash soup with with a potato and parsnips. So usually I make uh, half of this with a potato, with one small potato, two parsnips, and then later I blend it all together and top it with pumpkin seeds mm -hmm. it's so good definitely it's one of my favorite soup to eat at, at dinner if I can number two okay this one is an epic I mean okay before I tell you this was just a trial and that's why I like to experiment in the kitchen because you never know what could turn out good and what could, could turn out uh, not so good but with this one I, I don't know I just have a feeling that it's gonna be delicious so this the number two is the pizza rolls with butternut squash I mean this one is really my favorite dish I don't make it so often because I make it only for occasions but I think they tell something if I make it for guests <laughs> so yeah this is seriously good stuff oh, in the future probably I will make a recipe video out of it it's really yummy and, and tada the number one is bread bread with butternut squash and rosemary I mean this is my favorite butternut squash recipe at the moment I think you will only like it if you like rosemary because it has <laughs> quite a lot of rosemary and it's also sweet a little bit but so nice I mean really this is my favorite bread recipe without a question it's super moist it it feels like you are not eating a bread you are eating a whole complete meal it's really nice because I like this bread so much I decided that I show you the recipe so I hope you have butternut squash, I hope you have rosemary because now we're gonna make some delicious bread. As a first step, peel the butternut squash. Then remove the ends and the seeds and cut into small pieces. For the next step, you can either choose to cook or steam the squash. I like to steam my vegetable as steaming ensures the vitamins are retained. While the squash is steaming, add the following dry ingredients into a bowl. 1.5 cup buckwheat flour, half cup of almond flour, add 1.5 teaspoon of baking powder or baking soda, a hint of white or black pepper, a tablespoon of rosemary, a teaspoon of sea salt, quarter of a cup sunflower seeds, a teaspoon of oregano. I added some garlic powder too, but this is completely optional. And two tablespoons of psyllium husk. Mix all the dry ingredients together and then set aside. Take a new bowl and once the squash is ready, Add 2 cups into your bowl and smash it with a fork. Add half cup of almond milk, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, 
third cup of olive oil. Then mix all the wet ingredients together. Pour the wet ingredients onto the dry ingredients and mix everything together. If needed, add a dash of milk. Grease your bread tin and pour in the dough. I added some sesame seeds on top too, but this is completely optional. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees. Bake the bread for 40-50 minutes, depends on your oven. I baked mine for 45 minutes. And that's it, here you have it, your homemade butternut squash bread with rosemary. Ready for the final taste test? You can see the oregano and, and uh, yeah, I think the rosemary too, inside. They are very green. Anyway, let's try. Mmm. So if I have to describe, um, this is how autumn tastes, <laughs> seriously, I really like it. I hope you guys do as well and try it and let me know in the comments below <laughs> what do you think of this bread. Anyway, that's it for this week's favorites. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video and I hope you guys make this bread and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye!